Morning everybody. Mikey Sodlop is back. We're skiing. We're back after seven tough days. Our grooming crew has been working their butts off. And guess what? We've had nothing but perfect grooming, winter conditions. The snowmaking crew was working hard too, as you can tell. We got lots of snow being made. Conditions are pretty much perfect right about now. As I was saying when I was on that morning warm-up run, we spent a lot of time the last seven days rebuilding all the groomed runs off of the Eagle and the Whiskey Jack chair. And again, as you can see, the runs up top here are in really great condition. We also spent a number of hours rebuilding our terrain park and adding a bunch of new rail and box features, as well as rebuilding the two park in the beginner area. I'm really pleased to announce for all you families out there that we are going to reopen the Hawk chair this Saturday at nine o'clock in the morning. So a whole host of terrain will open up on the Hawk side of the mountain as well. Our grooming team has also focused a big amount of effort in the Nordic area where we now have almost 12 kilometers of skate trails along with six or seven of classic. Please stay tuned to the groomed run reports and of course our operational updates on the app for more information. You know, we had a lot of people write in after the weather events last week just about the confusion with our snow base and we apologize if that, there was any misrepresentations about the amount of snow that we actually were reporting. During the weather event, the Hawk weather plot was absolutely obliterated and it actually was washed away. So there's no snow down at the actual plot. So what we've done is we've created a new weather plot that sits at the same elevation as our marmot meter, which is approximately about 1200 meters on the mountain. And that's about where I'm standing. If you look below, I'm at about tower six here of the Whiskey Jack chair. You can see the base area just in below me here. So we're hoping that this creates a better accurate representation of what the snowpack is around Mid Mountain. We probed across the cross of the mountain, both over towards the Hawk and the Sunrise yesterday, and found that we had an average snowpack of about 80 centimeters. So when you see the snow reporting in the future, you'll notice it'll be reporting from the marmot meter until we can reestablish that Hawk elevation base for you. Skiing here with a longtime local, Jeremy Grasby. Jeremy, you've been a season's pass holder how long? 20 plus years 20 now. 20 plus years, so this guy knows the goods, he knows the mountain. We're gonna go for a little bit of a, just a ski down whiskey jack here guys have done a great job grooming it up so let's go for a bit of a ski check it out see what the conditions are like wow that's feeling really good Whew. pretty awesome eh? feels like midwinter doesn't it it felt great how was my form <laughs> it wasn't too bad <laughs> i was concentrating on my own but you know the best part i don't know about you but you know a lot of the patches and some of the areas that we had lost some snow that you can clearly see the guys that done a nice job patching everything and it's, you know it's great for carving and yeah no it's all filled in I felt like I was able to hook up on the slope there and uh, felt great yeah uh, things are getting cold up here Mikey maybe it's time to get going yeah I guess I've been talking a little too much hey we're looking forward to seeing you guys up here this weekend we're gonna finish our run on the whiskey jack and of course don't forget that the hawk chair will be spinning at nine o'clock 